Hello friends, Widget Walls here from needcoffee.com. We are here for science. Let me explain what the deal is here. Uh, I was listening to a podcast from Skeptoid at Skeptoid.com talking about sugar versus high fructose corn syrup and how health-wise there's really not a big difference between the two. Now, buy that if you want, okay? I tried to go out and, and look at uh, studies and whatever else to see, and I could find as many on one side as the other, and I just don't, I'm, I'm the guy with the English degree, so I don't know what to think. But it got me thinking that if, let's postulate that there was no difference health-wise between sugar and high fructose corn syrup. My thing has always been about taste, because obviously if I was really interested in my health, why would I be drinking soft drinks? So if we postulate there's no difference health-wise, can I actually tell the difference between sugar and high fructose corn syrup in drinks? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a little blindfolded taste test here. And not just a two-pronged taste test. We're going to do a triangle test, which is basically where you've got two of one, one of another, and you have to pick the odd man out as, as to what you're doing. So we've got some, uh, some Pepsi throwback here, right? Very rare stuff right now, right? And some regular Pepsi. Uh, we're going to start with that. And I bought, I've got two of each of these, so I don't know what the odd man out is going to be. They're in glasses the same size, they've all been poured freshly, okay, they've been fizzing for the same amount of time, uh, and I'm going to be blindfolded. And my lovely wife and assistant Cosette will, is off camera and is going to be handing me stuff, so I can't, they, you have to wave like way over here, it's okay. Anyway, she, her, say, say hi everyone, yes, hi. Okay, cool. And uh, uh, she, she's not only off camera because she chooses to be, but because if you saw the area around my desk right now, you would know it's hazardous. So what I'm going to do is I have got, and I've got some water here that I'm going to be using to cleanse my palate a bit. And I'm going to see if I can't tell the difference between Pepsi throwback and regular Pepsi. So I'm going to blindfold myself. This is for science. This is for science. I'm going to blindfold myself here. And I, I really, I, kinda, I can't see, and even if I could see, it probably wouldn't affect anything because she's got the, she poured them elsewhere. I don't even know what they are. But just in case there's some kind of coloration, I want it to be just taste. So, so here we are. I'm going to ask for the first sample of some kind of Pepsi. Here we go. Okay. Okay, I got that. I'll hand that back. Here comes the water. All right. All right. Thank you. Wait, let, give me a little bit more water. A little bit more water. Here we go. Mm. Okay. Hope I don't run out of water. All right. Second, second sample. Okay. Hmm, okay. All right, taking mental notes here. You can't hear me doing it because it's mental. Okay. And a third sample. Okay. Okay. Here's what I will say. I think the middle one is the odd man out. And I'm going to go ahead and lift this up because it's safe. The middle one is the odd man out. And I think the middle one was the high fructose corn syrup. I was right. Uh, let me just show them. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Don't show it. <laughs> you wrote on the same thing. Okay. You, I did not see that. I didn't see it. Trust me. I've worked. Okay. I've put too much effort into this to... So you could see I was right. I can't tell the difference. Now, as far as the taste goes, uh, I'm not a big fan of Pepsi anyway. So you might say, well, that doesn't really count because you don't really like Pepsi. It's fetching, isn't it? Um, but, but I have some Coke. Let me get some more water here. I have some Coke, regular Coke, and Mexican Coke. So can I actually... Can I actually tell the difference? All right, I'm going to put, here we go. I'm putting the blindfold back in place. And I'm going to get the first sample here, the regular Coke. 
Well, the regular, whatever it is, regular Coke, as in regular as I drink it. Okay. Mm. I prefer Coke anyway. Okay. All right. The, get the water. Okay. Second one. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. This is going to be tough, this one. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, wow, this is really tough. <laughs> this is really tough in the Coke. The Pepsi, honestly, I could tell the difference between the two pretty damn easy. This is a lot more subtle. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna make a stab here. I think the, I'm probably gonna be totally wrong. The first one was the odd man out. And the first one, crap. The first one was the real sugar. You're wow, drinking the real sugar. I'm drinking the real sugar right now. <laughs> I totally got that wrong. I totally got that wrong. The first two are regular, and the third is the Mexican, which, for those of you who don't know, is the real sugar. So I totally botched that. I thought, I thought the second and third ones, because it was hard to keep track. The, seriously, the Pepsi, I could totally tell, and it was very easy for me to take a note. The first two tasted so differently that, uh, to me at least, that, I, I, that threw me. So wow. So there you go. Me, who drinks Coke more than I should, not as much as I used to, but more than I should, I cannot tell the difference, apparently, between high fructose corn syrup and sugar. Wow. So, now, that doesn't mean that Coke and Pepsi shouldn't put out products with sugar because they can charge more for it and make money. I don't know why they're not doing that, because for some people, obviously... You can tell the difference. Some people can. I apparently can't with Coke, but with Pepsi, you can tell the difference. Some people can tell the difference and probably prefer it. So there you go. Conduct this science in your own home. It's safe for you to do so. And the bonus bit is when you get done, <laughs> you've got a bunch of drinks to drink. That's science. Bye.